Yo, what's going on everyone? I'm Tello Shelton. This is Coffee with the Bearded Reviewer. And today, folks, happy Halloween to all of you. And today, folks, I'm doing a review for the movie Logan. So, let's get started with today's review. So I'm pretty sure all of you can tell that I trimmed my beard. I took a little part off right here. So as of right now, it's actually Halloween. So I'm actually going to be Wolverine for a Halloween party. So that's why I'm getting dressed up for the day. And so what's a better way to talk, talk about Wolverine on ha Halloween day when we get to review the third Wolverine movie, Logan. So Logan stars our one and only Hugh Jackman. As y'all know that he's just been one of those very well seasoned actors that is working to the to this day that has just exceeded our expectations when it comes to a superhero. And when you look at actors such as like Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, Chris Evans as Captain America, uh, Chris Hemsworth as Thor, like you can't there's like specific characters that you just cannot replace with a different actor. And who, I personally think that Wolverine is just one of those already well-developed characters that we just cannot see anybody else but Hugh Jackman play. And this is definitely by far the best portrayal that he's ever done for the character. And that being said, is that this movie, it, it's not like a very grand scale movie. It's actually kind of like a very personal, very small passion project. It's like a real character study of... Wolverine himself, which I absolutely just love about this movie. But not only that, you also got P Patrick Stewart back as like an old withered cussing Xavier. Like, seriously, I I would have never guessed that I would hear Patrick Stewart say the F bomb several times. But uh, I really think that this was another role that no one else can portray well maybe except for uh james mcavoy because he also did a really great charles xavier but when you look at such incredible actors like hugh jackman and patrick stewart like these are irreplaceable actors like just a great blend you can definitely see the real passion that they brought to their characters you can really see the chemistry and i just absolutely love how they just kind of like made it feel like that they were kind of like passing the torch to a very younger generation but they're not like shoehorning it into the movie but it just really felt like that this was like the real ending for well the marvel x-men franchise like i really see this as like the real send-off before disney bought 20th century fox but uh I personally think that this movie is by far the best X-Men related movie. It's not really an X-Men movie, but it's nor it's not even like a Deadpool movie. It's just a movie by itself. It can go so well just by itself. Like you do see a little bit of connections from like the past movies and they do reference a few things from other films, but when you look at it in a story perspective, I really think that this one holds up just as a movie by itself. Like, you don't need to, like, make this feel like it's, like, connected to the Wolverine trilogy. You, it doesn't feel like it's part of the X-Men continuous story. Like, this was just a independent movie that it really felt like it was, like, a passion project by Hugh Jackman. That he, this was a movie that he really wanted to do. Like, he took a huge pay cut like he was willing to take a huge pay cut including Patrick Stewart and the director that way they can actually make this movie rated R which I absolutely thank you because when you look at characters like Deadpool, Wolverine, Spawn like there are particular kind of characters that you just cannot make them be a PG-13 movie they have to be rated R because it will stay closer to the source material it will stay true to the characters, to the stories, to the elements. And that's one thing I just absolutely just love about this movie. But when you get to see Wolverine really like get really be Wolverine, you see limbs fly around. You see all the glorious violence. 
Like, this was the Wolverine that we all wanted since day one. So, all around, I really think this is one of the most incredible comic book movies ever made. Like, this is like at top-notch Dark Knight movies. Like, it's, it's, a, it's an equivalent to any MCU movie, but especially, like, any of the Avengers movies, especially, like, Endgame, Infinity War... Dark Knight, like, I would personally place this in my top three favorite comic book movies of all time. It's just an incredible personal story about these two withered characters that you, you've you seen them go through so much crap in their lifetime. They're, like, at the very end of their rope. Like, they're just ready to die. But then all of a sudden, they encounter this clone daughter, X-23, which I think was portrayed very well by... Daphne I can't remember her last name but her name is Daphne and I thought she was another great addition to this movie because you can actually see Wolverine just he's going like oh I see a lot of myself in her and so you really see how he's just kind of like gravitating to this character like you're definitely seeing just kind of like this organ this organization they created X-23, and he's trying to make sure that she's not going to become exactly who he was. And so that is one thing that just really made the very ending to feel so much more incredible. Like a really great send-off. But like, just everything that leaned all the way to the very climactic battle. I mean, for most of the time, I really th speculated that uh, Dakin, Wolverine's son, was going to be in this movie. It, only just because that in the trailers you actually see other claws and so I was going like ooh not only that Wolverine did end up being with a Japanese girl which actually in the cover books that, that he actually does at one point fall in love with a lady of J Japanese descent and they actually have taken so it would make a lot of sense I was going like oh Wolverine in Japan Found, found a new love. Could this mean that they're gonna get us to see Dakin in, in this movie? But no. But I mean, like, I, I was just thinking that. But you know what? I still liked the, how we were just kind of like seeing uh, Wolverine the monster and Old Man Logan. You are really seeing like what it, what it will look like if Wolverine just remained to be like that deadly man of war machine that he was actually originally meant to be but you can actually just see that he's just like this old man he wants to die he wants to leave he just wants to be left alone but i just absolutely just love how he was just he was ready to die and it was just just a fantastic personal story about accepting your past this was just a movie that we all wanted since the beginning. So, you know what? With everything that I said, I just really think that this one is my top three favorite comic book movies of all time. And uh, when I was going through, like, because I need to be kind of like a critical thinker when it comes to these comic movies. Because you know how comic book movies are just so mainstream these days that we get them about, like, three to four times a year so but with this movie it's just a one of a kind movie like nothing like it well maybe except for the De Deadpool movies but uh, I really do think that this movie and Deadpool has really led the way for us to get some rated R movies that we should be having such as like Spawn the next Deadpool movie and more to come even Joker and so with this movie, with such a great personal story, not so grand, not too small, but it's just kind of like a, a personal climatic battle between the old man and the Wolverine himself. And you get to see him and X-23 fight together, and it's all like, you're just seeing, like, take your father to school day. Like, it just really... It just placed a big smile on my face. It just made me go like, oh, where have you been all my life? <laughs> Anyways, 
with this movie, I gave this movie a 9.6. So that was my review for Logan. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, press that like button. And if you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps us out here. And I will see you guys next time.